Now, you both have to sign this contract of marriage, and of course the ceremony itself must take place before the witnesses. Why, Jamie? If it's just about a clever way to skirt around the English law, then why not marry a to Rupert? Or even old Ned here? <laughs> of course I would do whatever I was called upon for the good of the clan, but I fear I may be a weaver. The Sassanach held her tongue when she could have betrayed us all. I thought that by marrying her to the lad, it would be a fine way of showing my appreciation. But if you want to give it to Rupert... She's a trams, Galashin. A pretty package, all wrapped up in a bow. Eh, my lad. You insulted my integrity, you dour bastard. Oh, no. That would require you to have some for me to insult. Gilior, I don't need you pulling my strings, nor you speaking on my behalf. Clyde, do you not see what he's doing and why? It's not soft feelings for Claire that drive him. If you marry an Englishwoman, you can never be chief of Clan Mackenzie. This is just his way of clearing the way so he's next in line. I don't wish to be in that line, Martin. You can it well. So should everyone. So you say. We do not have much time. Captain Randall is expecting Mistress Beecham to be delivered to him tomorrow. And we are all about to embark on a boat built almost entirely on paper. Only the letter of the law can stop Claire falling into Randall's hands, and in order for that to work, then we must follow it to the letter. 